team of rowers attempts to bring a bluestone 200 miles from Wales to Stonehenge. But what about the other stones at the monument? How were sarsen stones, weighing up to 19 tons, lifted 24 feet in the air without cranes or pulleys? Experts believe it took over two weeks to raise these lentils. Rob Roy and his team took a day to raise their lentil. But now, to complete the iconic arches, they must move it onto the two uprights. Okay, ease it down, please. Gently. Oh, it's a thing of loveliness. After years of experimenting, Rob's come up with what he thinks is the simplest way to get the lintel on the uprights. He believes Stonehenge's builders may have done something similar. His plan is to raise the lintel above the level of the uprights, then push it down a ramp into place. Let us know when you're high enough because I I'm worried about, you know, too steep. Yep. The levers have moved. I yeah, we better, let's, let's let it down. But there's a problem. The stone doesn't slide down the ramp. They try using fat. It should reduce friction. The lintel slides down the wooden ramp. Well, we weren't able to move it without the lard. So the lard seems to be really oh. an important component. But it gets stuck again, this time on the stone upright. It's just inches out of position. We're perfectly aligned over stone A, but we're bottomed out on stone B. So we're going to try to lift it a little bit, and then this team is going to see if they can get it parallel. OK, down with the lever. Ready? OK. It's up. It's up. OK, keep going. A little more. That's it. Perfect. 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 Pretty damn good. Woo! The beam supporting the ramp is removed. Result? One Stonehenge trilithon. It takes less than two days to erect the stone. But Rob Roy believes his Stonehenge counterparts would have done it much more efficiently. They're approaching it in a professional manner, like a cathedral building team. We're approaching it in an amateurish uh, manner, and we're learning as we go. 